Cubase 8.5 introduces several improvements to the transport panel and its associated menus and functions. Until now, the punch-in and punch-out positions were coupled to the positions of the left and right locator. But Cubase 8.5 lets you set up punch-in and punch-out points, which are independent from the locator positions. To do this, open the transport panel, then expand the punch points by clicking here. You can also open the transport menu, then punch points. Now uncheck the option to keep punch points synced to locators. Your punch points now appear within the ruler. Simply drag the red markers to set the in and out locations. In addition to the obvious convenience, this now allows you to use the punch in and punch out function during cycle recording. You can speed up your workflow even further by setting up key commands for punch points. Open the key commands dialog and navigate to the transport section. Select the punch point command, then assign it to the key that you want. Also in Cubase 8.5, the preferences for punching in and out are under the record category instead of the transport. And the option to deactivate punch in on stop is now disabled by default. And if you keep your punch points synced to the locators, the playback and record behavior will be the same as in earlier versions. Some items in the transport panel have also been restructured. Several buttons are larger and easier to read and click, as well as the new time displays. And now the punch points can be opened to show their associated time values, like this. Cubase 8.5 brings you an updated transport menu as well. All of the commands and options are now clearly categorized and consolidated into submenus. Also, several commands that were previously only available as key commands can be accessed here and some options that were previously only available on the transport panel are included in the transport menu as well. And there are some new commands such as input tempo, input time signature, and exchange locator positions. Cubase 8.5 now allows you to enter tempo values directly into the transport panel without the need to disable the tempo track first. And if the tempo track is active, it will change to the new value at that point. And Cubase 8.5 allows you to keep the cursor locked to its position in the song when you change the tempo in bars and beats mode. The ruler is now divided into more obvious zones. The upper half is used to set the locators in cycle range. The lower half is used for locating and zooming. And dedicated cursor shapes to help you find your way around. Cubase 8.5 now lets you start a new cycle range inside the current cycle range simply by drawing it with the control and alt keys. And the cycle area can be enabled and disabled by clicking directly on the cycle range. The ruler now provides you a cycle status and this makes it easier to spot the cycle status at a glance. Finally, Cubase 8.5 lets you customize the appearance of the ruler. Open preferences then appearance, colors, and rulers. Upgrade to Cubase Pro 8.5 today for even more efficiency.